Hey everybody, Matt Maynard here with another helpful video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the four parenting styles um, as designed by Diana Baumrim. She's a psychologist. Ultimately, there are four parenting styles and they're based off of two axes. Um, one which is emotional responsiveness and the other one is demandingness. And so these four were designed and developed by her and identified by her. And throughout the years, there's been a ton of psychological research and a ton of, of data that's been collected in regards to which one actually is the most healthy, the most sustainable, and also one that has the best outcomes for children turning into independent, emotionally stable, self-sufficient adults. And so I'm gonna kind of go through these and kind of explain this a little bit more for you to identify and see where you may fall on this. So the first I wanna talk about emotional responsiveness. Emotional responsiveness is your ability to attune to your child, okay? If your child's crying, if your child's excited, if your child is being playful, if your child is being um, irritable and angry, are you responsive to that? And how are you responsive to that? Um, are you responsive to that by attuning and, and understanding and validating them on that level? Or do you tend to be dismissive and kind of push away from that and start to argue or challenge the child in that? So that is going to determine whether or not you are low or high in emotional responsiveness. Uh, and then the second one, the second axis is demanding or being demanding, having expectations, having standards. I have what I call principles, which I help a lot of parents identify. And you're either low in being demanding, where you don't really put a lot of demands on your child. You may be, instead of actually um, setting standards or expectations, you may be doing a lot of hand-holding or micromanaging. Whereas on the other hand, um, if you are high in demanding this, you have um, expectations and thresholds and limits and boundaries with your child that you are maintaining and establishing and, and, and holding firm to. So the first one, which I highly doubt any of you are, okay, so I want to just clarify that. If you're watching this video, I highly doubt that you are actually falling in this category, but if you are low in emotional respons responsiveness and low in demanding, where you have no expectations and you're not really emotionally attuned, you're more invalidating and really abrasive um, and challenging and minimizing your child's emotions, you probably fall under the neglectful parenting style. Um, this is what we would call abusive, right? This is where you're you're not really attuning to the child. Um, you're not meeting a lot of their needs. If they have a, you know, if they are hungry or if they're tired or if they're having some sort of problem, they've been injured, and you're not attending to that. You're not emotionally responsive, and you're not also kind of helping them. Then you're probably falling into the neglectful. I highly doubt that if you're watching this video, you fall into that. Okay. So the second one that I want to go over is where you're high in emotional responsiveness, you're really attuned to your child, you're very validating, you're very in sync with how they're feeling, you're very responsive to how they're feeling, but you're low in setting demands for that. So this is where you may start to feel like you're a parent that kind of gets walked on, or your kid is kind of treating you like a servant. Um, this is more of what they call the permissive parenting style. And this is where you are really valuing the relationship, you're valuing the bond, you want your child to emotionally feel great or good about themselves. And so you have that attunement but because the demands may create some emotional turmoil or may actually hurt you, may interpret that it's hurting the child, you may start to lower and lower your demands to the point where you're now doing a lot of hand-holding, you're doing a lot of negotiating, you're doing a lot of um, incentivizing, which really in the long term is unsustainable. So that's more of the permissive parenting style. Uh, then we get into low risk emotional responsiveness and high in demandingness. And this is what is, is called the authoritarian parenting style. This is where you have um, high expectations, high boundaries, high limits um, to what you're expecting your child to behave to and adhere to, but you're not really emotionally attuned to them. So you really aren't really caring about how they feel about what they need to do. You're just setting up the expectation and if they do it, then great. If they don't, well, that's on them and you're going to be punitive and hold them accountable. Now, most parents that I talk to when they come in under the authoritarian parenting style is they, they usually have an idea that they would rather be feared um, than respected. And I'm going to kind of get into um, why some of that is. That's more of a, in my opinion, a cultural shift that's taken place. And that's kind of the old school parenting style that you hear a lot about. This is where uh, parents would be physically aggressive with their children. They'd be verbally aggressive with their kids. This is That would fall more under the authorita uh, authoritarian parenting style. The last parenting style, which is, is found by research to be the most effective, and ultimately the one that I really implement and I help parents implement is high in emotional responsiveness and high in setting expectations and demands, or as I say, principles. And this is what's called the authoritative 
parenting style. This is where you are able to gain respect by building rapport and emotionally attuning, uh, but you're also setting expectations and boundaries and limits with the child because they're expected to actually start to uh, embrace some of these limits and some of these principles because you want them to be more independent and self-sufficient, but you also want to keep that emotional uh, relationship and a lot of that responsiveness going. This is hands down, based on research, the most effective parenting style. This is the one that if you join my course, Emotionally Strategic Parenting, you will find that I have been able to build a system that is specifically designed um, really around being authoritative and being able to balance um, these two parenting styles. More often than not, when parents come in to work with me, there's one that's more permissive and one that's more authoritarian. And what they're really trying to accomplish is they're actually trying to meet in the middle. One's just off balancing the other, but they're constantly in this flux of, of, of being balanced, which is constantly chaos. And so what I've designed in Emotionally Strategic Parenting is to be able to get you more towards this authoritative, respectful, loving, but firm in setting expectations with your children. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or I hope you'll contemplate en enrolling in my course, Emotionally Strategic Parenting, and you can find that at EmotionallyStrategic.com. Thank you and have a great day.